Hello YouTube, it's Kimmy Dirty here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a 1.6.4 Minecraft server with a bucket already installed for Windows and Mac. So the first thing you want to do is download the programs. You're only going to need two programs. The first one is obviously Minecraft. You're not going to want to download the server because we're not going to be using the Minecraft server. And then the second thing you want to want to download is Bucket. I'll have a link for this inside the description box below. And then when you get to the link, you'll see this right here. Just click on it, and then it should automatically download this file right here. Alright, so now the Craft Bucket is done downloading, you're going to want to make a new folder. Just go to File, New, Folder, and then call this wherever you want. In my case, it's going to be 1.6.4 Server. That's just what I'm going to call it for now. Now open that up. And then you want to open up a new notepad. And then um, I'll have this code right here inside the description box below. Just copy and paste it inside of there. Now let's go to File, Save. And then instead of saving it um, as a text document, you want to change it to all files. Now let's save this as Start Server dot bat. And now I want to save this inside the folder that we've just created, so let me find that right there. And let's just save that inside of there. Now we can exit that out. We're almost done already. Now you just want to get your craft bucket that we've downloaded earlier. So just make sure that it's named exactly this, and then you just want to drag that inside of there. And then you're done. Now you can just run start server. And then it should generate the world and everything, and then you'll have your Minecraft server up and running. Alright, so now that's done generating, you want to start up Minecraft. And then you'll want to hit login. Let's give that a second. Alright, so now that it's done preparing the spawn area, you can start up Minecraft. And then if you want other people to go on the server, you have to give them your IP. So you can go to ipchicken.com. And then um, give them this code right here. And then you should be able to log in and it will generate the world. And you'll be able to log on your Minecraft server. It may be a little bit glitchy for like the first five minutes. So Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, post the video response below, favorite, thumbs up.